First, go to discordapp.com forward slash developers forward slash applications and click on new application. Now give your application a name and press create. Now click on bot and after that click on add bot and click on yes do it. Now copy your bot token by clicking on copy. Now click on the download link in the description below and download the 32-bit or 64-bit Python 3.8.2 executable file depending on your processor bit type. In this case, I have a 64-bit processor so I am downloading the 64-bit executable. Now open the executable file and accept the user account control. After that, make sure to click on the checkbox for adding Python 3.8 to PAT then click on install now. After the installation finishes, press close. Now run cmd as an administrator and do pi-3.8-m pip install discord. After this, do pi-3.8-m pip install wikipedia. After this, do pi-3.8-m pip install chatbot AI. Now create a folder in the directory you are playing to place your bot and create a folder called chatbot template. In that folder, make sure to enable file name extensions and create a new text document. Then name the file and replace .text with .template. Press enter then press yes to the prompt. Next, open the file and text editor. In this case, I am using Visual Studio Code. After opening up the file, type open curly brackets percentage sign space block space percentage sign space close curly bracket. Then type open parentheses and close parentheses. And inside those parentheses, type do you know about, then a pipe, then type what is, then a pipe, then type who is, then a pipe, then type tell me about. Go to the end of the parentheses and press space. Then create a new set of parentheses. Inside those parentheses, type a question mark P, then type a less than symbol and greater than symbol. Inside this, type query. After the less than and greater than symbols, type a period, then an asterisk. After the parentheses, type a space and then type in open curly bracket. Inside the curly brackets, type percentage space and in all lowercase, then another space, then another percentage. Then press enter, then tab and type in an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket. Inside those curly brackets, type a percentage sign. Next to it, space then response and another space, then a percentage sign. Then type in the open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket and inside those curly brackets type percentage space call, then the space who is, colon, then another space, then a percentage sign, then query, then another space, then the type percentage. Now type in open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket, then inside those curly brackets type percentage, then a space, then end response, then another space, then a percentage sign. After this, press enter. Now type in open curly bracket, a percentage sign, and then press space, then type end block. Now press space again and type another percentage sign. This file is for the Wikipedia function of our bot, where if users ask about something, it can respond with a Wikipedia summary. Now save the .template file and go back to File Explorer. Create a new text document and change the format to .py and then press yes to the prompt. Now open up the .py file and type import discord and press enter and then type from discord.exe import commands then press enter then type import wikipedia comma os now type enter again and type from chatbot import chat comma register underscore call after that, press enter and type prefix is equal to open quotations question mark and then close quotations. 
then type bot is equal to commands.bot and type in parentheses. Inside those parentheses, type command underscore prefix is equal to prefix. Now press enter and type add register underscore call and put parentheses and inside those parentheses put open quotes and close quotes and put who would is with a capital I. Then press enter, then type def who underscore is and in parentheses and inside those parentheses type query, then a comma and type session underscore id is equal to in quotation general. Outside the parentheses type a colon. This will be our function that will be accessing the .template file for the Wikipedia function for our bot. Now press enter and tab. Now type try and type a colon, then press enter, then tab twice. Now type return space wikipedia.summary and in parentheses query. Now type enter and tab three times and type accept space exception then colon. Then tab two times. For new underscore query in wikipedia.search in parentheses query, press enter and tap three times, then type try and a colon, press enter and tap four times, and type return wikipedia.summary. In the parentheses, new underscore query. Press enter and tap three times and type accept space exception, then put the colon. Now tap four times and type pass. Now press enter again and tab only once and type return space in quotations and inside those quotations type I don't know about space outside those quotations type query. Now press enter and don't tab this time. Now type template underscore file underscore pad is equal to os.pad.join and in parentheses os.pad.dear name and put another set of parentheses. Inside those parentheses, type os.pad.abspad and put another set of parentheses and type two underscores file and then two underscores. Now go outside the first two parentheses and type comma and in quotations then type chatbot template then a comma then the file name of your dot template file. Now press enter and type chat is equal to chat with a capital I C and in parentheses template underscore file underscore pad. Now press enter and type add bot event and then press enter again and type async dev on underscore ready and put parentheses after it and put a colon. Then press enter and tab and type print and then parentheses. And inside those parentheses type anything so that you know that your bot is working. Now press enter and don't tab here. Type add bot.command and in parentheses type pass underscore context is equal to true with a capital T. Now press enter and type a sync space def space the command name. In this case, I will name it chatbot and put parentheses and type ctx comma asterisk comma message. This means that after the command, it will take the entire message as an input. After that, put a colon. Now press enter and then press tab. Now type result is equal to chat.respond and in parentheses message. This will make the API chatbot AI directly respond to the string message. Now we just need to print out the response to discord. Now press enter and then tab and type if put parentheses and inside those parentheses type len and put more parentheses and type result. After that, type a less than symbol and type an equal sign and type 248 and put a colon after it. Now press enter and tab twice and type embed is equal to discord.embed and type in parentheses title is equal to in quotation type a title. In this case, I am typing chatbot AI. After that, type description is equal to result and put a comma and type color is equal to in parentheses type a color for your embed. In this case, I am typing 0xf48d1. Now type enter and tab twice and type await ctx.send and in parentheses type embed is equal to embed. Now type enter and then tab once and type else and type a colon and press enter again and tab twice and type square brackets to create an array. Now press enter and tab twice and type n is equal to 24 ea. Now press enter and then tab twice and then type embed list is equal to square brackets. In the square brackets, type result and then type another set of square brackets and type i colon i plus n. Exit out of the square brackets and type for i in range and type parentheses inside those parentheses type 0 comma len in parentheses type result. Exit out of those parentheses and type a comma and then type n. 
This will divide our result if it is greater than this course character limit of 24 8 characters. It divides the string into groups of 24 8 characters which will be accessible from an array. This is for our Wikipedia summary feature. Now type enter and tab three times and type for space num, then comma, item and enumerate, and in parentheses embed list, then comma after embed list and type start is equal to one. After the parentheses type a colon and then press enter. Now type three times and type if and open parentheses and close parentheses. And inside those parentheses type num is equal to equal to one. And then colon and then tab four times and type embed is equal to discord.embed and then in parentheses type title is equal to quotations and inside those parentheses type the title of the embed now after that type a comma and type the description that is equal to item after that type color is equal to the color of the embed in this case 0xf48d1 now type enter and tab four times and then type embed dot set underscore footer and put a set of parentheses. Inside those parentheses type text is equal to in quotations page. Put a space and put curly brackets and after that type dot format and parentheses type num. Now press enter and tab four times and type await ctx dot send and in parentheses embed is equal to embed. Now press enter and tab three times and type else and a colon. Then press enter again and tab four times and type embed is equal to discord.embed and in parentheses type description is equal to item. And then put a comma and type color is equal to in parentheses the color of your embed and in this case I am typing 0xf48d1. Get out of the parentheses and press enter again and tab four times. Now type embed.set underscore footer and add parentheses and type in text and is equal to in quotations page. And press space and add an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket. Exit the quotations and type dot format and add parentheses and inside these parentheses type num. Now exit the parentheses and press enter and tab four times. Now type await ctx.send and add parentheses and type embed is equal to embed. Now press enter and don't tab and add parentheses and quotations and paste in your bot token that you copied earlier. Now copy the numbers before information in your Discord bot's information and then paste them into the client ID section of the Discord permissions calculator in the description below. In this case, I am going to make it into an administrator for testing purposes. Now copy the link and paste it into another tab and select your server, then press continue, press authorize, and finally go through the I am not a robot verification. Now open CMD again and change directory into your bot folder and do hi 3 a in your bot domain file. Now your bot should be up and running. A cool feature of this bot is that you can customize some of the responses using the dot template file. So when I do what is a bird, for example, it gives me the Wikipedia summary of the article about birds. Adding stuff to the dot template file is a better version of an if statement since the artificial intelligence in the, my bot can interpret slight differences in the grammar. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, and share, bye!